hater and doesn't know what's going on in my life. Look it. No disrespect. But look, if I'm not focused on the fight, look at your boy. That's not... I'm in shape. I just sparred yesterday. Did I not go crazy on yesterday? Look it up. Is the Ark of the Covenant real? 100%. And we know exactly where it's at. In the Vatican. Have I been in the Vatican? Yes, sir. Did they let me in the back room? Of course. Can, can, all right, can you give me some validation here? Because everybody, Do I need to go back to the WhatsApp? Bro, cause, yes, me. yes, yes. Because everybody thinks I'm lying here. Literally, literally, and they let me in the back room. Please, can you explain what happened? Okay, so this is how I was I'm able just here to say yes or no. Okay, this is what happened. This is how I, I was able to get into the back room. Because everybody always says I'm lying. I was in the Vatican just like anybody else. People started crowding me in the Vatican. One of the, the, the security or I guess one of the, the higher ups in the Vatican noticed. I said, "Can I need some help. There's a lot of people crowding me. They let me in the back room. They liked my personality. So they start showing me everything. everything. The robes. The <laughs> He's not lying. He's the not jewels, lying. The jewels. How the gifts. I mean, I got, I had access to a, a lot of things. That's because of God. God did, not me. And I'm not like, what am I going to cap for? And then address the BB thing, bro. Another thing, everybody, again, I went to Israel and everybody obviously took fond of me. And then they invited me to hang out. And then guess what? BB uh, uh, hits up one of his assistants or handlers or whatnot and asks for a meeting. Can you bring it? All right. So here's the proof. We were in Israel in June and BB... One of BB's boys texted me. He said, hey, brother, good morning. I spoke with the Prime Minister BB Netanyahu. He would like to meet Ryan. Facts right here. Y'all can screenshot it. I don't know if y'all can see it. Screenshot it. That's facts. So for all y'all saying he's crazy for that, this actually happened. Exactly. That's what he said. So, uh, that's why. And I said no. Yes. That's facts. I said Again, no. Again, do I have to validate everything this man says? Look, it, at the end of the day, guys, I'm not trying to do any. I'm not trying to lie. I'm not trying to speak anything. I'm for the children. Why do you think I wrote that That. That whole tweet about Gaza. I said, save the children. I hear the children's cries. Like, I'm calling for peace. This is my whole thing. Like, I'm not here to do anything wrong. I'm here to speak the truth. If you want me to shut up that bad, it's really them wanting me to shut up because I'm only speaking the truth. I've never, I've not said one lie. I haven't said one lie. I went to visit Israel for Jesus because I wanted to see where Jesus walked. I wanted to see Jerusalem. I wanted to see Nazareth. And I got to see it. And I'm so thankful for it. And then, I, and then right after two months later, everything goes berserk. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yo, what is going on? Oh, my gosh. I'm crying. I'm like, I'm crying tears. We were all scared. We were terrified because we were just there. Mm -hmm. And I talked to how many people I talked to. We got friends from both sides. How many times we talked to the people from Palestine? A lot. A lot. We got friends from both sides. And they were they they were like Ryan, like this is going on. I'm like, no way. What is going on here? And I'm hurting for everybody. Yo, like, what is going on, man? Like, it it was very heartbreaking. And um, <laughs> yo, Mo said, uh, bro, and the white is just yapping. <laughs> Mo <a> hater. <laughs> so, you know. This is what thing you you know Jesus says go go and speak to people and if they don't want to listen dust your feet off and go to the next house. So if you don't want to if you don't want to understand or you don't want to find understanding, simply you know you know respectfully I, I I just have to go and to talk to people that want to hear. That's why Jesus says those who have ears let them hear. Those who have eyes let them see. Mm -hmm. Yes, there is a spiritual awakening. Mm -hmm. The spiritual awakening to everybody. It, it already happened in 2021. It kind of got set off with COVID in a way, you know, and then it just transferred to so many other people. And I just been blessed by God to have a voice. And I, and it, all, all of you have that same type of voice. You know, if you're under Christ, you're kings and queens under Christ and priests and evangelists. So you're actually a king. So if you believe in Christ, you're a queen. If you're a girl and if you're a guy, you're a king. 100%. And we have authority. What's Bohemian Grove? Okay, I'm going to speak on Bohemian Grove. This is an organization where people gather together. Can you give me some water? I'm feeling it. Okay. And I want to tell you guys, when you're, when you're really in the spirit, you know, it takes a lot of energy to speak, you know, what you're speaking. And, and you know, if like it affects your body sometimes. 
But but anyway. Before you start, tell the people if they think you're lying about Bohemian Grove to go look at Alex Jones' documentary. Okay, yes. If you guys think I'm lying about Bohemian Grove, please look up Alex Jones' documentary, please. That's all I got to say. That's it. I'm obviously not lying. Yes, they do. They were doing a lot of... Look at how many people I've talked about. The politicians have talked about it. Uh, look it. I'm on drugs. See this? Okay. Can you guys highlight that guy, Abyssin 3434? We need to acknowledge the lies this dude is doing. They say I'm on drugs. You, you see what they're trying to spin the narrative. Do not let them spin this narrative that I'm on drugs. When have I ever, I've never even thought to do drugs. I, I tell kids all the time, don't do drugs. <laughs> Look at, they're trying to spin this narrative so I stop talking. But they can't. Why do you think everybody, they're running away because the power of God is coming. Jesus is coming back. Facts. That's why everything's coming out. Open your eyes. But don't worry. The ones who don't open their eyes, it says in the Bible, can you bring it up? Where in the end times, people will be marrying. They will be um, partying. They will be having a great, good, jolly time and Having kids and everything will be seeming okay. And in the blink of eye, Jesus will return. So whatever, what, look, you guys don't have to listen. You understand what I'm saying? You guys can go back to your life and say, Ryan is blowing up smoke. And, you know, he's lost it and, and he, he, he's gone crazy. Meanwhile, I'm sitting back and waiting for the Lord's return and just boxing, doing what I got to do and spreading the word of God. Powered by God, you know? God did? Matthew 24, 37 through 39. Okay, Matthew what? 24, Matthew 24. 37 through 39. Okay, verses 37 through 35? 39. 39. Okay, there you go. Well, see, again, I'm only going to back up what I'm saying. There's, I, I, I challenge any of you guys to search up anything I've said, and if, if I'm lying, you got me there. But if I've not said one lie, then what is it? Look at, okay, I want you guys to highlight It's Just Water. And this is the last guy I'm going to highlight. He says Coke Boy. Again, trying to spin the narrative. You understand what I'm saying? They're trying to shape the narrative where this boy is on Coke. This is the only reason he's saying this. Bro, do they not understand you get drug tested almost every week? I get drug tested every week by Vada. <laughs> Go ask Vada if I'm on cocaine. You know cocaine is against... Oh, we got it. You know cocaine is against the law, uh, against... Um, Vada testing. Can, can you bring up? Yeah, yeah. So I'm not on Coke, obviously, and I've been getting tested a while back. Okay, then. So obviously, I'm not on drugs. So what now, guys? What now? What more can you say? Come on, bring it out. Get, go all your stuff. Come on, bring it all out. Ask any question you want. First of all, I. Okay, so you get, get drug, drug tested constantly, randomly at any time. If I was a cokehead, I wouldn't be able to stop, right? Thanks. I'll be like, oh, I, I need it right now. Well, I'm a cokehead. I ain't no damn cokehead. Well, you know what's funny? On that non-negotiable list that you signed, everyone was like, why isn't drugs on there or cocaine? It's like, because he doesn't do the shit. <laughs> I don't need to put that in my thing. If I are don't. idiots, bro. They're idiots. Again, I'm not going to trust. I'm not going to touch that too much. I'm not going to acknowledge a lie that hard because if you acknowledge a lie that hard, then you're giving life to mm -hmm. it. No, nah, no more. You guys do say what you want. It's fine. You guys are going to keep saying it. So what does it matter? Okay, and we're going to talk about. Wait, I have the bottle proof right here. Okay, go show. Them. All right, hold on. Okay, so this is a drug list from Vada, guys. That's the people who drug test him. It's stimulants S6 on the page. It says cocaine, substances of abuse in the section. Cocaine. That's what they test for. Yep. Every time they drug test him. So obviously, now you know, I don't do cocaine. Come on, man. So what's next? Mm -hmm. I mean, <sighs> adrenochrome, you want to you wanna touch the adrenochrome? We'll touch that. It's actually a ritual that's been going on for many years from different tribes across the whole world where they, they supposedly believe that they drink blood of children, you know, and this is very, I don't even like saying it, but it's a real thing and it's scary for me and it pisses me off, right? It pisses me off. I want to 
I want to hit somebody's, you know, head with it with the right hand. It works, you know, because these are children we're talking about, and and, and the things they do. I, I I just because I don't want my my thing to to drop or not like them to take down my Instagram. I want you guys to look it up. It's a real thing, adrenochrome. Just look it up. It's a real thing. Yeah, they do that. Yes, it's real, and yes, it's happening. Around, across the whole world, and I would love to bring somebody in. Let's see, let's see who's in here that knows what we're talking about, or, or just in general. I'm gonna do the first guy, Adrian Duno. I'm actually not coming off. Taylor Liner. Oh my, what's up, bro? Hey, what's up, brother? I just wanted to bring on people just to know, you know, just to invite you guys to have a chance to speak on, on what you feel like and how do you feel like I'm speaking. I want to let the people well, speak, bro. Look, bro, like I'm a Christian and I believe what you're saying because in the Bible, it talks about um, about all of this stuff, you know, man. Um, Satan um, does his thing, but Jesus is the one who has, who has the real power. Yes, hundred percent. On everything, so um, it's it's crazy how people think like you're on drugs or something, and I understand like you have to be careful with what you say, right? Yeah. But um, people have to understand that the devil, like he's a he he's he's smart and he knows what he what he what he does. Here's the thing. So it says in the Bible, we're going against does it not say principalities and spirits behind the person correct yeah so sure. when you, you see these people at the top they're not real. they don't really know what they're do they do most of them do know what they're doing of course but they're being controlled and manipulated obviously by spirits correct yes of course because and, we, and, we all and, have and, spirits on us yes and they're, they're probably worshiping money so much they don't care what they're doing to us that's why they don't. They see us as guinea pigs, correct? Mm -hmm. We're just guinea pigs to them. We're just guinea pigs. Yeah, they hey, just see us like. Hey, hey, look, look, hey, hey, we're tired. Like, why do you think they say like we're overly populated? We're not overly populated. I don't know who made that up. You it's crazy, crazy, bro. But like, we're actually you just, underpopulated, bro. Yeah, they, they don't care about us. Hey, that that Michael Jackson song. They don't care about us. How was that song go? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't really bro, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna tell you something like I'm super yeah. proud of what you're doing like everything you've done with your career and now you're at this point where you actually get to see how things really are like and you you're brave enough to like speak about it people need to know that you're you don't need to bring all this like everything like you don't need to to be lying bro you don't need to yeah. They think they say think, like random they stuff. Think, like people they, have to know that you're giving facts. Like this is legit. You're speaking something out. Yeah. No. Here's the thing. It's so it's it, it's been a big misconception. I see this a lot in uh, when you're first coming up. Oh, I have to act this certain way. I got to be like this guy in order to make it. And yeah. I need to I need to sh you know say like yo I, I'm that guy. I got big chains. I'm, I'm I'm effing all these women. I'm doing whatever, bro. That's not what you need to do. You could be rich and love God. Yeah, of course. That's possible. And everybody yeah. brings up the verse, it's harder for a rich man to get in heaven. It's like um, uh, going through a needle in the haystack. They don't read the next verse, what Jesus says. But with God, everything's possible. Can you guys, pl okay. I I'm trying to tell you guys. Like, that's the truth. Uh, hey, bro, I'm going to get somebody else in. If that's yeah. Don't worry, hey, bro. All right, All right bro. Can you? Take care, bro. Uh, yeah, I don't God know how to take you, you off. So yeah. yeah, don't worry. I'm gonna leave Love, you, bro. bro. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, God bless you. Keep yeah. putting in the work. I saw your video this morning where you were you're taking a run. Yeah. And yeah. I took the, the the decision of like getting off my bed and started like a fresh new Sunday. Yeah. So I want to thank you because you uploaded that video, and it changed like my mindset, like just a bit enough to like move my room around and like i'm moving everything here's my bed here's my bible so i just wanted to thank you for that video and just keep doing you man like i'm trying to i'm trying to do my best nah, so, <laughs> all right brother all right everybody bro. everybody out there please trust god please trust jesus and 
Just pay attention on what Ryan is saying. God, God bless you, bro. That's crazy. Thank you, bro. Right. Take care. All right, guys. Um, who should I get in? Who would you want me to talk to right now? Um, who, who would you be interested in me talking to? Um, I, I'm just curious. Uh, who's in the chat that I might not have noticed that would be a, a powerful man to speak to? Look at this guy. Look at it. Shout out. Now, shout out. This dude going to just hop off seat. They don't want the truth to keep going. I could keep going all day. This could be, I could keep going all day. I could keep giving you information all day and you guys run with it as much as you can. I'm with you guys. I'm with you guys. This is true. Shout out Kane. Tate. Okay. Hey, well, Tate doesn't have Instagram, does he? Does Tate have Instagram? Sure. I could call him up. Should I try to call him up? Oh, 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 do I got Tate's number on here? Oh, can you charge this one? I'm going to try to call uh, Andrew Tate. We should try to get Aiden Ross on this too. Let's do it. This is like me streaming basically. And I'm not even making no money. I don't even care about the money. I'm going to call Andrew Tate. And I'm going to call Aiden Ross. I'm going to call a couple of people. And we'll see what's up. This, this is like me streaming. I don't even know how to stream. This is me streaming, bro. Bro, this is cool. I, I, streaming ain't too bad. Bro, today is Sunday. I've already ran. I don't even need to train on Sunday. So what are you guys talking about? I could do what I want. Today's recovery day. Yeah, what the heck? Today's recovery day, bro. I could do whatever I want, buddy. Look at it. I'm going to be here a lot. I want you guys to have a great day. Hey, look at it. If you're not doing anything, let's have a chat. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm not doing anything. You're not doing anything. It is what it is. Once we charge my phone, I'm going to start calling everybody. Shoot. Let's try to contact uh, Cat Williams. We can. I'm going to try to contact Cat. Somebody uh, who knows Cat could hit him up and say, I want to go live with him. That will be sick. Let's see the request to join right now. Okay. A lot of people. I'm going to go with this guy. Or actually Kane. I'm going to go with Kane. They don't understand hard work, Sean. You know how we get down. All right. I'm going to try to contact Cat Williams. Yo, Kane, where's Neon at? Uh, uh, Miami. Oh, my gosh. Whatever. How are you? Bro, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm great, bro. Ask me any question. I'm going to bring up the other, that guy, too. So have you? This other guy, too. Uh, have, have, have you been doing good? Bro, I've been doing great, bro. Look at I've been, let I've, me, you. I've know been, me. I've been praying for you. I'm Thank you, brother. Oh, no. my. 4%. Can we get this charge? CC. Hey, you mean to reach out to what's his name and get him in here? For who? You? I'll text you, but I'll get him in here for you. Okay. I know who you yep. get. Yep. All, right. All right. Guys, 4%. We only got 4%. We need to make a move right now. We need to make a move. But yes, I'm going to try to contact Cat, Tate, everybody. Whoever you guys want me to bring up, I'm going to contact them right now. Um,. Obviously, this is not a joke, bro. Anybody who thinks this is a joke is just delusional, and they're not trying to see the truth. We got something? There we go. You need to call us over again. Oh, yeah. We don't let nothing get in, in between us. Chad, bring, the, bring it over here. It's a longer walk. as our um, charge right here. Cat Williams say you owe me some money. I owe you no money. Let's see what's up, G. Let's get this on. How can I, how can I, um, do I need a moderator or no? Do you guys think I need a moderator? moderator? Who wants to moderate this chat? <laughs> See my guy right here. Gotta get him out? Yeah, he got himself out. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch on this. Project Blue Bean. Okay. Why do you think the government and everybody slowly slowly started putting out aliens ufos proof even though we've been knowing about this for years and years and years and years and years since ross since what was it uh roswell since roswell there's a plan to slow because you can't give everybody the truth really quick because then everybody 
goes crazy and there's mass confusion and everything. So they slowly try to, you know, weasel their way to show you the truth about the aliens. They're real. They've been here. And I'm not trying to look at, see, if I would have said that two years ago, then I'm crazy. But now that I'm saying it now, it's not so crazy because it's all coming out. So UFOs are real. They're setting up the great delusion. Look up the great delusion in the Bible. So everybody knows what I'm talking about. There will be a great delusion set on earth. How do you think everybody gets deluded? Because the rapture is going to happen when, when Jesus raptures his church. Obviously, there's beams of light. What does that remind you of? UFOs, alien abductions. So the people left on earth are going to believe that it was an alien abduction and they're going to be set off with a great delusion. So all I'm trying to do is call people to Christ before it happens. So that's what they're, they're going to do. That's the whole plan. There you go. I laid it out for everybody. Second Thessalonians 2.11. Second Thessalonians 2.11. I'm trying to tell you guys that's the truth. It right, is what it is. Scripture the back of like I said, have I said one lie? That's all I got to say. Every, oh, he, he needs help. Oh, yeah, of course, because you're scared. And we have, we have another spiritual warfare here, uh, warrior here, right here. Come on. I got to bring out the fan. What is, he, what is he talking about? See, that's what I'm trying to tell you. We gave him scripture. Have I said one lie? No lie. Thank you. She's very discerning in the spirit. She understands a lot of things that I'm saying. I've heard she, she knows things only I know, and I know things only she knows. How's that possible? Only God. Only God. Only God. Only God. So, you know, I got people backing me up. That's why everybody around me is still with me because they know that we don't do drugs. None. We live for Christ. Absolutely. And we know how to box. That's, that's the easy part. Doing this is the hard part. Boxing, I've been doing that since I was seven. That's the easy part. Absolutely. Me standing up for the truth has been one of the hardest things I think I've had to do. But with God, I was able to do it. And now, look, I'm continuing to do it. I'm not going to stop now. Nobody's going to stop me because I'm not saying anything wrong. All right, so what's next? You got my phone? Uh, uh, the charge one? Yeah, the charge one. Chance, where's that? I got to start calling people. This is anointed man of God. Thank you. Anointed man of God. Thank you. A seer and he's anointed. I know it. I know it. Or if you only four percent I experience. That's fine. I just need to make one call. Oh, we can bring a portable charger here. CC. Let me see if Aiden even answered. Let me call Aiden. Hey, after you call him, let's, let's talk about the fighting though too. Okay, they're, yeah. They're, after this, we'll talk about the fight and promote the fight. And I'm not trying to be his handler, but MFers out there. <laughs> nah, no, people are hilarious. <laughs> I really do want you to talk about it though. Yeah, I, of course, because I want people to know the fights on. Like, go purchase your tickets. Exactly. The fights are still. I know the tickets are like unbelievable and I'm trying to lower them, kind of. But you know, it is what it is. Like, yo, I don't even know. Like, I've been asking to to do it. Let's see what Aiden Aiden answers. Aiden Ross, 2.0. His, num his number's not out there, so I didn't leak it. I'm going to leak it if you don't answer, though. I'm just kidding. Should I? Nah. Should I leak it if you don't answer? Nah, that ain't cool. Come on, Aiden. Aiden, do 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 nothing. He's not answering. Bro, don't answer. Okay, that's somebody that doesn't answer. It's another person I could call. Da, da, da. Let's see if I could talk, talk to Andrew. Call. I can't can't show you his number because I have, like it'll expose his number and I'm not gonna expose his number. I'm calling Andrew right now. And now I'm calling Andrew Tate. He's probably not going to answer. When they do call me back, I'll, I'll definitely go. Okay, in the meantime, let's talk about my fight. Because I need to clear this up. Okay. Still burning. All right, so. The fight's on. That's happening. I, I could call George Jenko. Yeah, I could call it. That's a good one. But the fight's on. Uh, it's 
it's been on, there was never a doubt that it wasn't going to be on. And anybody who has any doubts that the fight is going to happen, well, let me clear those doubts out. It's happening. What else do you want me to say? It's happening. It will happen. And um, and we're good. So what else are we to say? Can everybody go to Kanye's page and say, go on live with Ryan? That's the only way. I'm going to call Oscar De La Hoya. That's, that's amazing. Didn't even think about that. There's so many people I actually could call Oscar. Hey, I'm calling you. About fight on live. Come to my live. Okay, let me just call him and maybe get him on live anyways. We're calling Oscar De La Hoya. Aiden, Aiden calling me. Great. Can you get some? Yo, what up, brother? Aiden, up? I'm on live right now. Don't say anything crazy. Okay. All right. <laughs> What's up? I wanted to, okay. I just wanted to talk to you about just life in general. What do you think about me and what's going on? Your honest opinion. My honest opinion, bro, is I think your belief and everything you have, I think because you're getting ready to fight and stuff, if you want to talk about that stuff another time, yeah, but you have this fight and you need to be locked in for this fight and I just want you to be mentally in the best shape possible for this fight because that's, that's what we're focusing on, right? Like, yeah. you and Amy fighting. That's, that's my honest take. Right. I, I understand that, but what better uh, chance to talk the truth when all the eyes are on you, right? No, one million right. percent. You have all the eyes in the world on you, but you can get all the eyes in the world on you whenever you want. Um, you know, and I'm not telling you to not tell the truth. Drop the truth. Say whatever you want to say. Expose what you want to expose. But there's still a fight coming up, and I want you mentally prepared for that because... I want you to win that fight. You know that. Right. So, right. That's my take. No, I understand what you're saying, bro. And uh, I honestly do appreciate you. And I don't want to take too much of your time, bro. Just know that anything I said, I didn't say one lie, bro. That's all I want to say. No. Yeah. Bro. I mean, I'm, I'm seeing and hearing a lot of what you're saying. I just want to make sure that you're good for going to that fight. I don't, bro, I don't take that away from you, bro. I want you to always tell the truth, man. Always say what you are telling you to say. I just, I want you to be okay, bro. That's all I care about. Your, your mental is all I care about, bro. Thank you, bro. And uh, much love, bro. Thank you for looking out. Appreciate you. Uh, all right, all right So there we go. Now we, we got Aiden on it. And I get what he's saying. But I also understand this is the most important moment of my life. Every eye is on me. Why not speak the truth when everybody's listening? Come on now. And we are locked in. We train every day. Come on now. That was cool. All right, let's try to get Oscar. Let's get them on it, though. Like, I want them to join. That would be amazing. Let's see who's in here. I want to go live with Taylor Lautner as well. Let's see. Let's go. I don't see any requests to join. Okay, well, there you go. All right. We're gonna attempt to get Kanye in this. If we can't get Kanye, I'm gonna do a hard stop at 135. 135, and then I'm gonna be done. And um, if you guys ever want me to do this again, I will, but um, I'm pretty sure everybody's screen recorded this, so it's gonna be up there. But it's okay, you know. <laughs> Taylor, everybody's like, like why, why is that funny? Taylor Honors is cool. Should we get PBD? No, huh? PBD? PBD's a man, bro. He is. Who should we get in here? Da 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 Ch please can everybody try to get yay in here that's that's the move hag yay come through the live i had cat williams number but where is it at Let's see or did i ever get it i don't remember okay now um, let's see if i got in here Mm 
No, nope, I don't know. It's taking too long. Alex Jones. So yeah, we could get Alex Jones too in here, but Ye would be cool to try to get him in here. If Ye comments and he's ready to go live and we talk, we blow the whole lid off, that's that's a moment in time for sure. When we get Ye in here to speak the truth and we just take everybody down, I'm cool with it. Me and Ye just taking everybody down. Hey, shout out Carl Towns. Love you, bro. If you ever want to hop on the live, let me know. Thank you guys for tagging Ye. I appreciate it. Uh, I show speed would be cool too. I don't even know where he's at right now. He's always traveling. I've been messaging him, but he's been traveling, so probably can't get it. 135, hard stop. In the meantime, guys, ask me questions. Why not? Kyle for Nelk. Don't have his number. Yeah. Let's see. I can't even see my request anymore, bro. They just keep loading. Really? Yeah, look at Oh shit. <laughs> I can't even see my request. This is unbelievable. Uh, I'll let you know. Uh, I'm gonna say something on you. Okay. What's the rest of your Sunday looking like? Someone uh, uh what are we gonna do? We're gonna work out. We're gonna train a little bit more, lift some maybe weights, and then go to church again at five. And then uh probably go to like Arcade again? Remember, arcade was fun. I see. <laughs> Yo, remember go karting? Should... Remember you lost? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, all right, bro. You can play me. I'm not even funny, bro. I used to lie too. <laughs> I've already touched up on everything. Um, Shia, <laughs> Shia hates me. Why does Shia LaBeouf hate me though? I don't. That's so random. He just woke up, like Transformer just woke up. <laughs> Yo, John, come through. I'm down. I I'm down to go on the full send podcast, guys. Why not? I'll full send it there. Shout out, John. John, if you ever want to hop on too, let me know. How are my beautiful kids going? Amazing. They're going amazing. They're they're growing up. Uh, and Henry's uh, he's getting big. He's probably way bigger than I was when I was a baby. His hands are huge. He's doing sit-ups, like, this is different. How's the fight prep going? Great. Sparring has been good. Uh, hit me. Let's do both. All right, John, I'm going I'm to hit you right here. And then we can do both. Let me see. Go live with John. We can do both, John. I, I actually remember you back in um, when you were working with Justin Bieber to do that one app, and you guys started it. I forgot what it was called, but it was good. George Janko. George, hit me up, George. I should go on his club, Shay Shay. Let me see, George Jenko. I think I have George. I'm right. I have George on this one or that one. Everybody go uh, tag George. Tag George Jenko. Oh, there you go. John. What up, bro? Pleasure to meet you, man. Um, yeah, same. Obviously, I've been in the circle around you for a long time, but I never got to meet you. We met uh, briefly once when you did it, Hotbox and with Mike. And we walked in oh, with Hasbulla. Yeah, 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 we did. We did. How, yeah. how you been? And actually, Good? twice. You did hot boxing twice. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah let's I, do it. Let's I, do it. I, I, I love what you're doing, bro. Um, you, I remember when you came out with shots. Remember shots? Of course, I remember shots. That's Come on, man. Hey, I'm on top of everything. <laughs> you already know. That's yes. So that was good. Um. Uh, so yeah, what, what are you doing nowadays? What, what, you know what I mean? Just no. Oh, happy dad. Uh, all things full send. Theo Vaughn. Hey, we need to get into some. We maybe we can do some business together. I mean, when we do it privately, we could talk privately. But yeah. you know what I mean. There's opportunities. Of course, I'm always down, bro. I'm a yeah. big fan of what you're doing. Okay, yeah. thank you, man. Um, yeah. If you ever want me um, on the podcast, do. let's do it. You know, Kyle hit me the other day about it. Kyle's like, "Yo, can you get in touch with Ryan Garcia? We want to get him on the full send podcast." So. Well, there um, you go. Yeah. So hit me. Um, yeah, just hit me anytime. And okay, we'll make it I think you're, you're you're in the south right now, right? Uh, yeah, yeah I'm in Texas. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we could. I mean, we could even come out that way this week. I know they they're wrapping up Miami stuff, so they could come over that way. There oh my go. boy, Tehran's in here. Oh fuck, there's a bunch of yeah. people in here. I'm not even reading this. <laughs> yeah. What? 20k <laughs> people. I didn't even look at that number. <laughs> it's not like yeah. a quick. I don't do these lives. It's like a FaceTime. <laughs> Yeah, I know. It feels like FaceTime, bro. It, it, it really does. But uh, cool. All right.
I appreciate well, yeah, hit me anytime. I know you probably want to talk to your fans right now. So love. All right, Brian. All right, bro. All right, All right. see you. Bye. All right. All right, cool. So well, that was cool. Why is Ryan voice so deep? Because I could put it deep anytime I want. I could rearrange my voice. No, honestly, guys, you make your, you could make if you want your voice more deep, you actually could make it deep. Literally, all you got to do is scream. Ah! <laughs> well, I your vocal cords and you, like, I'm telling you, bro. Ah! <laughs> Yo, they're going to clip that and make it seem like I'm crazy. Bro. I swear. Ah! Ah! Now look at my voice. Now you can see like it's a keeper. <laughs> Bro, you literally can blow out your vocal cords and have a keeper voice. Like it's it's funny. Nah, honestly, my voice gets deep when I'm doing promos and they make me scream. That's literally what happens. Hilarious. So guys, I'll speak about the earthquake I had. Oh, or the earthquake prediction I found in my heart. You know, one day. It was three years ago. I felt, you know, I, I, the Lord was calling me and, and he spoke to my spirit. And again, everybody thinks like, oh, that's wild. When I say speak, I don't mean a loud voice. Hey, Ryan, there will be an earthquake. And people will, you know, God can come that way if he wants. But most of the time it hits your spirit. And then then you kind of have to test it to see if it's true or not. Like, where where's that coming from? And then if it doesn't leave your spirit and your heart, then you receive revelation and sometimes 